Welcome to this video. This is a tutorial on making duct work for a gas turbine engine. And the first thing I want to do is start off with a, a three-point arc. And I'm going to make just uh, the general feature the duct work waves in and out. And so I would suggest making a general outline of what that waviness is going to look like with some three-point arcs. That's one feature there, and that's all that I really want is to make one instance of that feature. I'm going to make some things uh, tangent. Now with everything tangent, I'm going to make my three-point arcs of equal length, or I should say equal radius, and yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I'm going to do a circular sketch pattern. And I'm going to do 10 of these, maybe 12. Now with that being uh, done, I can mate these two together or merge these points and give it a tangent relation. I can accomplish the same thing by merging the center points on the arcs. Now, I'm going to choose a point to be vertical over the origin for making it easier to constrain things. Vertical. And then I'm going to merge the center point of my replication, my uh, circular sketch pattern, with the origin. So make that coincident. Now, we've, now we can go somewhere because we're close to being fully constrained. I'm going to add in a dimension here. So what do I want the radius of my outer circle to be? I'm going to make that 18 inches. So it'll be about 3 feet around total. Now notice I'm not uh, symmetrical on some of these. And to, to remedy that, I'm going to make a center line along my point that is vertical. I want to make this horizontal. And then I want to select the midpoint and make it vertical over the origin. And we should be, yes, that's, that's better. Now I can add some dimensions onto this. I want to say that I'll make this three inches and if this will let me, there we go. What length do I want to make this? I'll, let me think about 3.5 and see how that sits. That's not too bad. Four. That's not bad either. I'm going to go with four. Again, this is a design principle so I'm leaving it up to you to flow it and figure out what you need for your design. Now I want to determine the inner diameter. And to do that, I think I'm going to try using a construction circle for construction. And I'm going to make it tangent to one of the arcs, and I'm going to make it tangent to any other arc. And that should center it pretty good. And I can add a dimension and say I want the inner to be 18 inches isn't too bad. And finally it's just a matter of uh, getting a solid radius on my three-point arcs. In this case if I went with a 10 inch radius it would look something like this. If I went with a 20 inch radius it looks a little better, maybe 40. Yeah, I'll have it. It can be relatively straight. I I kind of like the curvature too. Twenty again. Flow it according to your needs. This is just a design principle. Now that I've got a fully constrained drawing, and you might want to constrain it differently if you say need to look at the radius of these three-point arcs more or something. I'm going to exit the sketch, 
And now how long do I want the ductwork to be is my next question. I drew this on the front plane. I sketched this on the front plane, so I want to say features, reference geometry plane, and I want to reference my front plane right there. And let's say I want this to be four feet long. I'll just, uh, there we go, four times 12. That's not too bad, uh, but I think I'm going to go three feet. and check. So this is the beginning. This is the part that will sit on uh, closer to the turbines than the part we just drew. Get normal to this plane. And I'm going to make a simple circle because it will be attaching to a circular portion. Again, flow this according to your design needs. Modify as necessary. 25 inch diameter probably isn't too bad. Now, I'm going to hide this plane because planes are very annoying. And I'm going to do a loft. Lofted boss base. Choose this guy and choose this guy. And there we have our lofted boss base. The thing is, that's going to be one solid thing. And we want it to be hollow because it's duct work. So I'm going to go down and activate my thin feature. And how thick do I want this to be? Well, let's say I want it to be 50 thou. Then I'm going to, oh, sorry, that's 5 thou. And there we have it. Um, we have a basic uh, piece of duct work. And we may want to take material out uh, from under here, as they do in some designs. So I'm going to section view this. I'm going to section it along the right plane or the top plane. I think the right plane looks good. Control 8 to the right plane. There we go. And I'm going to start a sketch uh, on the right plane to take some material out. The first thing I want to do is I'll add a center line for clear dimensions. In fact, the midpoint on that seems pretty nice. So I'm going to start with a three-point arc coming back into the center. And I'm going to make this tangent to horizontal. And I'm going to make this tangent to vertical. Again, you can constrain this any way that you would like, and you can remove material in any method that you would like. And we're fully constrained there. This actually works to my advantage to make it not for construction. And I'm going to do a revolved boss base. I'm sorry, revolve cut around this line. There we have something that uh, would look like some exhaust duct work on a gas turbine engine. Edit as necessary to make some connections up here. Edit the thickness of the material, 50 thou is thin. And if this video was helpful, please subscribe. That's the best way to help me back. And I'll catch you next time.